Hello guys, welcome back. In today's lecture, we will discuss the second mechanism of apoptosis, which is the mitochondrial pathway, or it is also called the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis. In previous lecture, we had already discussed about the death receptor pathway. So, number first point about the mitochondrial pathway is that it is occur. It is occur most of the time about in 90 percent of cases mitochondrial pathway is occur in apoptosis and that's why the most affected organelle most affected organelle in the apoptosis is mitochondria most affected organelle is mitochondria in the process of apoptosis we all know that we have anti-apoptotic genes, anti-apoptotic genes, and pro-apoptotic genes. Anti-apoptotic genes are BCL2 and BCLX, and pro-apoptotic genes are pro-apoptotic genes are backs and back so what is the role of mitochondria in the process of apoptosis what is the role of mitochondria role of mitochondria in the process of apoptosis role of mitochondria we know that mitochondria has cytochrome c cytochrome c which is the normal in normal state the carrier protein of electron transport change number second mitochondria also has apoptotic inducing factors apoptotic inducing factors apoptotic inducing factors so what is the function of BCL2 and BCLX? Function of BCL2 and BCLX is that it is normally control the permeability of a part of mitochondria. Permeability, it control the permeability of mitochondria in normal state. For example, if there is any radiation, toxins, or hormone degrees. For example, if there is any radiation, radiation, toxin, etc., or damage to DNA. Remember that mitochondria membrane has mitochondrial membrane has protein called BH3 protein BH3 protein mitochondria for example this is mitochondrial membrane it has BH3 protein the normal function of BH3 protein is that it sense it sends lack of survive signals it sends lack of survive signal for example, if there is radiation, injury, or decrease in hormone, it will sense the lack of it will sense the lack of survive signal. Then, what will do the BH3 molecule in the process of mitochondria? What is the role of BH3 molecule in the process of apoptosis? BH3 molecule, BH3 protein, BH3 normally function is sense lack of survive lack of survive for example if there is any radiation and injury come to the cell bh3 first activate bh3 activate pro apoptotic genes pro apoptotic genes 
which is bed and back if there is any injury or decrease in hormone bh3 will activate these genes what is the function of this gene this gene will make permeability pores in the mitochondria this gene may will make permeability pores in mitochondria in mitochondria first of all lack of signal occur then bh3 protein will activate pro apoptotic gene pro apoptotic gene for example this is mitochondrial membrane it has cytochrome c and apoptotic inducing factor so when bh3 gene lack bh3 gene lack survive signal it will activate pro apoptotic gene pro apoptotic gene will make permeability pores in the mitochondria membrane from this permeability pores cytochrome c and apoptotic inducing factor will come out from the mitochondrial membrane so when these are come out and combine they activate caspase 9 they will activate caspase 9 when caspase 9 we know about that caspase 9 is a initiator caspase initiator caspase that help in initiation phase of the apoptosis when caspase 9 is activated when caspase 9 is activated caspase 9 will activate caspase 9 will activate executioner caspases executioner caspases which are caspase 3 6 and 7 executioner caspases what will do it with the cells number first it will digest cytoskeleton cytoskeleton of plasma membrane number second it will digest cytoskeleton of cytoplasm cytoskeletal mean the protein that make the structure of cytoplasmic or plasmic membrane number 3 it will activate dna enzyme which will break down the dna dna breakdown will occur so in mitochondrial process what are the steps number first bh3 protein this will lack the survive this will sense the lack of survive it will activate pro apoptotic gene which are back and bed which are back and bed what it will do it will make perme permeability pores in the cytoplasm uh, in the mitochondrial membrane through which cytochrome c and apoptotic inducing factor will come out into cytosol when this come out from mitochondria into cytosol it will activate caspase 9 caspase 9 will activate executioner caspases and then digestion of cytoskeletal cytoskeletal of plasma membrane digestion of cytoskeletal of cytoplasmic membrane and dna enzyme activation will occur for mcq's point of view remember that remember that bh3 is only protein that only protein that activate that activate pro apoptotic genes bed and back this is also in roban mention that this is also called effector molecule and what it will do it will increase increase mitochondrial permeability mitochondrial 
permeability. Number second, initiator ke space, initiator ke space of extrinsic pathway or death receptor pathway. Extrinsic pathway or death receptor pathway is caspase at initiator caspase of intrinsic pathway or mitochondrial pathway intrinsic or mitochondrial pathway is caspase 9 and remember that both caspase 8 and caspase 9 it can activate executioner caspases. It means executioner caspases activated by activated by both caspase nine and eight. So this was all about the mitochondrial pathway in which we discuss the mechanism and the role of mitochondria in the process of apoptosis. Thank you.